Hi guys, so I noticed when I did my kitchen tour and cabinet walkthrough, I didn't show this um, cabinet so here. So let me open it up. This is where we're gonna be cleaning, but this is what's down here in this container, just like this. So it's spring cleaning time and it's time to go through these cabinet and drawers and clean out the things that we haven't touched in a while or that may be expired or wiped down and degrees. So like this is an um, area that's prone to getting food just dropped in like if you're cutting or cooking right here, things can fall in here or drip in here. So it's time to clear the whole cabinet out and give it a good wipe down and disinfect everything. Have some hot soapy water and start washing everything down. Yes, you know the toothbrush was gonna definitely come out. I think that's one of the best cleaning tools ever made is a toothbrush. Just giving the containers a great wipe down, spraying it down and disinfecting everything. Here I'm grabbing a grocery bag and going through all of my containers, checking the expiration date. You'll be surprised at how many items I actually found that were expired. The containers that I'm not utilizing at the moment, I put the lids inside of it um, just so it can completely air dry out. This process was definitely well worth all the energy, time, and effort. This made a huge difference in my kitchen. We need more sugar, so my grocery list will be super long because there's so many things I had to throw away just by cleaning. Back here, it's filled with expired food. So that's quite a bit of items. This is nice and clean. This is still the way my spice cabinet looks. I'm gonna go in here and wipe down every bottle and this um, counter here. So this is our next task. asked me how does this look in here and this is literally all it is just have marbles and these little bitty things these are actually Savorsky crystal pieces if you see them I just put them in there because they were mixed in with my marbles so those are these are Savorsky crystal Jim. Wait, put it on there. This is the top of my cabinet because I've already cleaned it off, but I'm just gonna wipe down. important to disinfect all of our sponges and rags. These little decorative crystal decors hang on my window so I have to wipe them down because they're a bit greasy. As well as the plants and all the decor that's on my windowsill. I'm wiping and cleaning that as well. Now 
it's time to come and wipe down over in my coffee bar area. Um, this is usually where the griddle goes, so it gets a bit sticky over here as well, so it's important to wipe and disinfect this as well. This is where my fruit goes on top of the microwave, so I'm wiping that as well. Everything is clean now. I'm so happy. So in this video, the main goal was to clean things that we never clean on a regular basis. Like we clean our kitchen, but we don't deep clean. So I pulled everything out of my Lazy Susan, all of my spices, and what the, the most surprising thing is, all of these items were expired. Like I was so, just so shocked because we use our spices and our cabinets and our um, items on a regular basis. So look, this, and some of this is brand new items. Um, like this um, expired in December and it's almost still full. This paprika is expired. This parsley leaves expired. This is a brand new lemon pepper. And so, I was just so amazed. This Italian seasoning that I got off the economy was expired. It expired in 2016. So, I had two baking powders. One was expired, one was good. So, it was just, if nothing else, this was so worth me taking the time, pulling everything out the cabinet, and getting everything wiped down. Because even in the Lazy Susan, um, I wipe it down, but not under all the containers, and it was a bit sticky. So, and I kind of put it off for a little bit, but I'm back on it now because it really, really makes a difference around here in sp spring cleaning. So, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned and start getting motivated, even if you do a little bit like I do. I just take one little area at a time and attack that. And it's still a big chaos, but at least these little bitty areas, and then eventually you will have one big puzzle. I mean, you know, it's like one little puzzle piece at a time, and then you have one complete puzzle. At the end of the day, it may take some people longer than others, but it is so worth it. All of this was expired, and I'm so happy to get this out and clean. Talk to you guys another time. Bye for now.